Hey guys, so Samsung is all set to unveil the Galaxy S21 series in a month and in fact, the first to know about S21 sign-up form is already live in Indonesia. Tagline is an epic galaxy that will change the way you tell stories. Yeah, it doesn't make sense but sounds cool. Now we have our first official look to the Samsung Galaxy S21 front renders and we also have first Exynos 2100 5G, Geekbench scores and this is something we saw coming. So the Galaxy S21 is coming with a flat front display which is yeah fine for most not me. Even the S21 Plus is coming with a flat front display so no subtle curve or something. But that chain is smaller than ever, in fact it is even smaller than the iPhone 12. A punch hole selfie shooter on top center, similar size like Galaxy S20, I was expecting a small hole and many were expecting no holes at all, but that's what it is and not to mention it is a full HD plus panel. Now comes the CPU which is gonna power the S21 series if not in all but most markets. The Exynos 2100 5G, Samsung is betting big on this silicon, they have already made some cute teasers about this CPU, so it is definitely something big. Something what Exynos 990 was not in front of Qualcomm's flagship CPU, the 865. So what we have right now is our first Geekbench scores of Exynos 2100 running on S21 Ultra and they are quite low than the Xiaomi Mi 11 or OnePlus 9 benchmarks. So in single core it scores 1074 and in multi core it scores 3354 which is lower than the initial Snapdragon 888 benchmark scores. Yeah these are surely the initial scores and the final performance may differ a little but so are the scores of Qualcomm's 888 5G CPU. Here are the scores of Exynos 980 on S20 Plus, it's around 800 in single core and 2600 in multi core. So it is surely a huge jump, but it still won't surpass Qualcomm's latest flagship CPU. And the reason is gonna be Mali GPU versus Adreno GPU plus the enhancement Qualcomm has done. The Exynos 2100 is using Mali G78 14 core GPU, Huawei on the other hand uses 24 cores, but the performance overall exceeds Kirin 9000 and its Mali G78 GPU. So this is a great news but we may see some heating issues in there. We don't have accurate OpenCL scores for Qualcomm's Adreno GPU but as per rumors the GPU Samsung is using will be around 28% powerful than what's with 865 plus which is awesome and the GPU Qualcomm is using the 660 is 35% powerful than the Adreno 650 GPU. This in Samsung's history is gonna be a huge jump you cannot forget the Exynos 980 performance and welcome in the real high end CPU the Exynos 2100. Yeah, the initial scores are not as good as 888 5G scores, but it's good. Yeah, not like a 1000 multi-core score gap that we saw in the 865 versus Exynos 90 CPU. So great work Samsung. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.